I want to share with you five free resources for learning Python. And this will teach you Python really well. These aren't just beginner resources. If you work through all of them, you will have a great understanding of Python. You'll have experience using Python in lots of different ways and you'd have done lots of different problems. Now, this is slightly more skewed towards learning Python to use for data because that's my interest. But I think this would be also useful to a general audience that wants to learn Python. Also, today's sponsor, .tech Domains, is running a really important campaign to make computer science education much more accessible to people that can't access it at the moment. If that's something that you'd like to help out with, you will have the opportunity to do that. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later in the video. OK, let's get on with it then. Five fantastic free learning resources for Python. Resource number one, point your browser to quanticon.org. It is .org, is it? Yes, it's .org. Now, you might just think this is a site that teaches economics, but you'd be wrong. This is a treasure trove of Python resources, and it teaches Python right from the basics. Uh, it assumes no prior knowledge, so you get all the foundations of Python. And then on top of that, there's uh, a lot of lessons on how to use Python with data and for modeling. Now, a lot of the examples are based around economics because this site was founded by a Nobel Prize winning economist, Thomas Sargent. So you can forgive them for making a lot of the examples about economics, but don't let that put you off because all of the information about Python is relevant in many different settings. So make sure you take a look at this site. It's one of the sites that I have been using for years. I've recommended it on this channel before, but I don't think enough people know about it. It could be your main resource for learning Python. It is that good and it just keeps getting better. It's not a site that was sort of created a few years ago and has just been left. They're developing it all the time uh, and there are more examples on there. And actually it doesn't just teach Python, it teaches other languages as well. But if it's Python you want, go and take a look. The link is in the description and I really think you'll like it and it could be your main Python learning resource. It covers NumPy, it covers matplotlib, pandas, modeling. There are loads of examples with solutions too. I think you'll love it. So go and take a look at it, but not yet because there are four other resources that I still haven't shown you. Let's take a look at those. Number two, is automate the boring stuff with Python. Now, this is a book that you can buy, but it's also free uh, online. There's a free website uh, and there's a link in the description for this too. Now, this is a different type of learning resource for Python than the previous one. This shows you how to do little projects in Python. So it shows you how to do things like web scraping or use Excel with Python. Um, so it's useful little projects which will give you uh, experience of doing something else with Python. Resource number three is the Foundations of Applied Mathematics page from Brigham Young University. Now it's part of their Applied and Computational Mathematics degree and there are some extremely useful resources here. The ones I would point you to to begin with are Python Essentials and Data Science Essentials. Just let me check I've got that right. Yeah, uh, they also have um, two volumes, on one on mathematical analysis and another one on algorithms, approximation and optimization. Now, they may or may not be what you're interested in. They're certainly worth having a look at. But do check out the Python Essentials and the Data Science Essentials. These are large PDFs that go into a, a lot of detail uh, on various different subjects that would be incredibly useful to you if you were learning Python, for example, for data science. Resource number four is Practical Business Python. And the URL is, let me just check, pbpython.com and there's a link in the description. This has to be one of my favorite Python blogs. I visit it an awful lot. It's by Chris Moffat and he writes very well, particularly on pandas. The tutorials that he puts on the blog for pandas are, are very, very good. Um, pandas is the data wrangling package in Python. And if you're planning to use Python for data, you will learn pandas. And I think you will really love using pandas. I enjoy using pandas tremendously. It's very powerful with data. 
But this blog will teach you so much about pandas, especially if there's something as you're using pandas that you're not sure about uh, and you can find a, an article about it on this blog. It will it teaches pandas very well indeed. It's, it's very well explained. And finally, resource number five is hackersandslackers.com. Now, this isn't just focused on Python. It covers other topics too, but it is a sort of data science blog that covers a lot of Python uh, and it covers things like Plotly, but it also covers Flask and cloud computing, the sort of thing that a data scientist might be expected to know. There are tutorials about, the, about those subjects on this blog and it's very well written and very well explained. I remember when I was learning to program, having the realization that computers aren't just something that arrive with software preloaded. They're machines that you can program to do anything you want. And that was a really motivating insight for me. But unfortunately, it's an insight that most children in the world might never get. Not down to a lack of ability, but due to a lack of opportunity. Most schools in the world don't teach computer science, and it's young women from marginalized communities that have the least access to computer science learning resources. Today's sponsor, Dot Tech Domains, along with Namecheap, are going to donate 100% of the proceeds of the sales of their Dot Tech Domains in May and June to Code.org. Code.org is an organization that helps make learning computer science more accessible for some of the most marginalized communities in the world. Now, how can you help? Well, if you go to the link in the description, you can buy a .tech domain and those proceeds will go to help teach computer science to children that otherwise wouldn't learn it. Why would you want a .tech domain? Well, if you're learning Python or data science, you want to showcase what you're doing. And a good way of doing that is having your own blog where you write about what you're learning, write about what you found and share your code. So why don't you treat yourself to a .tech domain and by doing so, you can help a kid learn computer science. I mean, I've just saved you a load of money, haven't I? With, you know, all the Python resources that I've shared, you could use some of that.